The Psychology of the Occult is a 1952 skeptical book on the paranormal by psychologist D. H. Rockliffe. It was later published as Illusions and Delusions of the Supernatural and the Occult 1959 and Occult and Supernatural Phenomena 1988 by Dover Publications. Biologist Julian Huxley wrote a foreword to the book. Topic. Content The book takes influence from the works of Frank Podmore, Joseph Jastra and Ivor Lloyd Tuckett dealing with the "...fallacies underlying psychical research." Rockliffe critically examines claims of the occult, parapsychology and spiritualism concluding that they are best explained by psychological factors such as hallucination, hysteria, neurosis and suggestion as well as "...delusion, fraud, prestidigitation, and limitless credulity." Rockliffe found possible naturalistic explanations for all parapsychological experiments he investigated, noting that there is no scientific evidence for any paranormal power. He suggested that many of the results from ESP experiments can be explained by what he termed endophasic enerosis unconscious whispering. .The book offers rational explanations for diverse phenomena such as automatic writing, dowsing, fire walking, lycanthropy and stigmata. Topic. Reception Daniel Loxton has described the book as an important skeptical work written many years before the founding of CSICOP. He noted that, much as Michael Shermer has done in recent decades, Rockliffe attempted not merely to debunk these claims, but to explain the underlying psychology of why people believe weird things. Topic. See also Why people believe weird things